race for U.S. Senate. Democrat Tammy Baldwin defending her seat against Republican challenger Leah Vukmir. Our Sean Gallagher is live in Brookfield this morning as we look ahead to that race today. Hi, Sean. Yeah, good morning, Susan and Vince. The first poll workers just showed up here in Brookfield as well. And today will be an historic day, regardless of who wins in this Senate race. It's the first time in Wisconsin history that both major party candidates for Senate are women. Now, that's about the only thing they have in common because the Senate race is a battle of opposites. Baldwin is known as one of the most liberal members of Congress, while Vukmir is a staunch supporter of President Trump. In the last Marquette Law School poll, Baldwin had a double digit lead on Vukmir, but that that hasn't stopped Leah from embracing that underdog role. She has come up with a number of nicknames along the way for Tammy Baldwin, like Toma Tammy and Princess Painkiller, for her mishandling of the Toma VA. Vukmir and the Republican Party as a whole say the Democrats' attack on Republicans not covering pre existing health conditions is the lie of the election. But yesterday I spoke with Senator Baldwin in Shorewood, and she told me the big lie of this election is the Republicans doing a 180 degree pivot on their records on coverage for pre-existing health conditions. She says Vukmir voted against insurance coverage for oral chemotherapy, cochlear implants for deaf children, and that she'd be a deciding vote to get rid of the Affordable Care Act. Now, Leah Vukmir will be here later this morning in Brookfield to vote, while Tammy Baldwin will spend the morning in Madison before making her way over to Milwaukee in the early part of the afternoon. In Brookfield, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4. All right, a busy final day today, Sean. Thank you.